All right, shalom again, brothers and sisters. Continuing this Rasafari in gathering, this is the preparation. And then this is the this is what the Moedim are. Remember, while they were still in the wilderness, they went through all of the holy days, all the feasts, all the agricultural feasts, and everything. And this this basically is like when 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 you say when you get a a house or apartment, for example, a landlord, right? The landlord. Jai is the landlord. And he says, all right, you can stay in my land, but you need to do these things in order to keep the land, you know, in order that the land be pleased, right, and that the I be pleased, and I bless you, because it's, it's all, it's sustainable. You know, and don't let the world fool you with fear. You know, they're, they're just doing what's, what's after their father, and we're doing what's after our father. Now, as we're just picking up on this, just continuing this, right, um, Continuing this right here, let us bring up uh, His Imperial Majesty in the tent, right? His Imperial Majesty. Remember the vid right here, Rastafari spirituality, right? Rastafari spirit. It's on the Rastafari or Rastafari sabbatical, right? Um, sabbatical, right? Uh, Rastafari spirituality worship and honoring the King, John Millennial Kingdom, Zechariah 14. Verses 16 to 21. This is speaking about us. You understand? Know it's speaking about us right now. Ones are going after the Gentiles and the Europe and the, like the, the, the nations, you know, who are going to the Goyim, the, the, the United Nations. They think they need a pocket full of money. They don't recognize what they have already. You know what I'm saying? We don't, many of us don't recognize it. And, and when we're not born again, we don't recognize it. We, don't, we just don't get it. You understand? Know we, we, we just don't get it. You know? Um, but the Sukkot, right here, the king, right, Haile Selassie, in his tent, right, let's bring that up. See, this is it right here. They talk about in, in, in um, this Torah portion. It's interesting because, so, so we, we were right, we were right online. We were right aligned, you know. Um, different Ashkenazi, Sephardics, some of the Ethiopian Jews and other Jews, they may do things in different you know, slightly different timing. They may have slightly different haftarah, so forth and so on. So this is what you see right here before you is um, is Deuteronomy. Is this uh, the, the shortest Torah portion, right? The shortest Torah portion is actually um, this Torah portion, which is Deuteronomy chapter thirty, chapter thirty-one. And as was pointed out on the Wikipedia page. Right, as was pointed out on the Wikipedia page, it was, it was verse uh, 10 to verse 13. So let's read verse 10 to verse 13, and it says, And Moses, right, commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, in the solemnity of the year of release, that's the Shemitah, the Shemitah, that's where all debts are canceled. What are they doing? by not canceling these debts. And, and they are the ones who control the finances, our so-called namesake, who say they are, but the Metzav Kedu says that some of them are not. The others will recognize, and they will honor the king. You understand? And all nations must honor the king. You understand? And we're pointing this at the New Jerusalem, at Addis Ababa, at the African, the Sion, because this is the fulfillment. So this is the year of, of release. And they have never done this with the economic system. That means all debts are released. Can you imagine what a wonderful economy? Happy is such a people who are in such a state. You understand? Who, whose king of kings is our father. You understand? Who, whose big brother is the Moshiach, Yeshua, is, who is Christos, Jesus, our black Lord and Savior. Verse 11 says, When all Israel, call Israel, Israel, Hulu, is come to appear before Yahweh, thy Elohim, before the King of Kings, thy Father, thy Abba, in the place which he shall choose. So they may have chosen Palestine, but the King of Kings, Abba, has chosen Ethiopia, you understand, know has chosen Addis Ababa. You understand? Know Recognize that. You don't like it? It says, which he shall choose. Right, which he shall choose. It's not about what choice they make. It's not what, what choice I make or the choice you make. It's what choice he makes. Right, like he says, he has chosen us. We have not chosen him. He He saved us when we didn't even know ourselves. Right, thou shall read this law. 
this Torah, this Orit, this Hug, before all its Arayel, before Kol is Kol Yishrael in the Hebrew, for its Arayel Hulu on the is before Kul Kul is Arayel, right? Kul Kul it Kul before Kul is Arayel. Thou shall read, read, read this law before all its Arayel in their hearing. In their hearing, Jehovah's in their hearing. So see the hearing, the hearing is that first, is that groundation, right? You got to hear the word. Then we can go to the Romans. I think it was the Romans, um, chapter ten also speaks on that. All right, it says, "Gather the people together, gather the people together." See, this is our common unity. This is our community. But you see, the community can't be gathered together if you don't have Jah, right? If Jah is not in his chosen place, that means in the center, right? And this will be the cross. This will be the cross right here, the tabernacle. The head right here is his aras, right? But the, the, the ark is symbolic of the throne, right? And the brazen altars come into the feet. You know what I'm That's where the bulls, that's where you put all your BS. That's where you put all your stubbornness, all the goats, and everything is at the feet of Yeshua. You understand? Because all that get the feet. You understand? All that get the feet. It's better you come and bring it there and bun it. You understand? Then you hold, you, you, you are bun. You understand? You won't be bun in Hino. You know what I'm saying? You won't be bun in Get Hino. Um, I don't know if we have this picture right here, but let's see if we have this right here. Let's see if we can bring this up right here. Just to give a visual. Like we said from the very beginning, Alba. It's like we do for our children, right? Don't want to do that for their children. You understand? They draw them a picture, you understand? Or they draw things big in order so that the children who are very small can grow, you understand, can grow to understand these things. So he's giving us a picture. And, and the artist, I think her name is Pat. Um, you, sorry, I don't remember. I apologize. I don't remember your last name though we had it in the first part of the video. So the first part of the series, we actually point out the artist. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this, this, this picture right here, the artist, yeah. We point out the artist right here. So let's look up, I think it's um, um, Iesus. There's uh, the picture of Iesus on the cross, the one where the skull and bones has been um, put into Miskana, has been put into its proper its proper um, position. So, you know, over how Christ, how he fulfilled it, you know, all the Old Testament types, but in a new and a living way, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 20. Uh, if, if, I think I'm correct, you know, chapter 10, verse 20. In a new and a living way. You know, so the real tabernacle is our body. Our bodies be the I don't know what happened. No, no, I'm just... I don't know why I'm so emotional on, on a certain level. Now, of course, yeah, I know I'm a living soul. A hallelujah, but... I'm, I'm, I think about that word that I've heard ones and ones in church say over and over. But perhaps, you know, it can, it, it can help to get the point across. It says if this tabernacle be dissolved, the first tabernacle was dissolved. Remember Shiloh? Shiloh was dissolved. All right. Um, remember Gibeon? Gibeon was dissolved. Then uh, uh, Solomon, right? Nigel Solomon. The the stone tabernacle, right? The stone tabernacle. In Jerusalem, and then with the Babylonian captivity, that was dissolved. Then um, some of the returned Israelites under Ezra and Nehemiah, Ezra and Nehemiah, they rebuilt the wall of Jerusalem, and it's in uh, Nehemiah where I and I name I and I name say. I think it's three and seven, if I'm correct. And they, Nehemiah, Yadon, or Jadis, you understand? I and I, new namesake, actually is um, 
is 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 is, is mentioned. And then later on, Herod, the the Indumean convert. This is where many of the the Jewish, you understand, the European Jewish people. That's actually how many of them, you understand, came into um, this way. You understand, um, he was the Roman choice for um, for king, right? And um, being that Roman uh, choice for king, he uh, he he rebuilt and embellished. Solomon's Tabernacle. So when they talk about Solomon's Tabernacle in 70 AD, it was actually Herod's Tabernacle. Yes, it was a Tabernacle of of Jerusalem in, in Jerusalem. It's the Second Temple. Yes, and, and we worship there. And Yeshua HaMoshiach also was there. But that also Tisha B'Av. It was also dissolved by the Romans in 70 A.D. Now, now you know, um, anyway, let's get to this word in 2 Corinthians 5 and 1. 2 Corinthians 5 and 1. This is a section that says to us why death itself has no terrors for the servant of Adonai. Why death itself doesn't have any terrors. Right? You gotta understand that. And that's what most people are afraid of doing anything because they're afraid that somebody's gonna kill them. You know, somebody's not gonna like what they, or they're gonna kill the the um the perceptible feelings. You understand? Know and if you're in that state, then you're dead already. You over so so be born again. Repent and be born again. Repent from the way of the dead and accept the living way of the King of Kings and His Christ. All right? Let's see if this if this pick is here. You over. Know, this abstract is 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 um is here. All right. I don't know if it's it's here. I'm not too sure what name we um saved it under. Um, if it's on this particular drive right here. But um. All right. Let's see if this is if this is it right here. All right. Alright. Yeah, there's another one, the one on the Mexico, the one on the cross. Um, I don't know if it's in this suitcase right here. Oh actually no, actually I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Alright. Um but let's bring this up. Let's bring this picture up as well. Alright, wow, his majesty between the two yodes right there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the Jews know about that. They put those two yo's there instead of putting the tetragrammaton, you know, instead of putting the holy, the holy name. These two yo's, iota, yota, yota, right? Iota, not a jot or a tittle, right? But here's the word on tabernacle. So, so Sukkot is a memorial, right? Sukkot, did we click on it? Yes, yeah, Sukkot is a memorial to this. And and then let us understand this word right here in, in 2 Corinthians 5. I've, I've heard ones and ones all, I guess, all my life, you know, and, and going to church, you heard, you hear certain things. You know when you hear certain things, you hear either religious people or people that love the Lord, they say certain things, but you don't know where it is. You don't know what it really means. But you notice that they have such like faith in it and through it, and and it's kind of and 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 and, and it's kind of um right it's kind of it's kind of amazing they has that they, they have such faith in this word and then what's really amazing is when you yourself you understand is when you yourself find out you know find out where this is at you know, and you yourself begin to recognize what it means. And you yourself have faith. You understand? Have faith in the truth of it. You over and, and you begin to think, Wow, I didn't recognize you understand, I didn't recognize what this meant all that time. You over saying and now I do. So here's the word. It says, For we know um Second Corinthians chapter five, verse one. For we know that if our earthly house of 
this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of Egediyave Herlotu Sebhat. We have a building of Ha Elohim Baruch Hu, of Hashem. Baruch, 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 and house, a house, a bait, not made with hands, eternal in the Samayat. See, people ask, why were the Egyptians tracing these stars and to this, this group of imperishable stars? But that's home. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed with our house, which is from heaven. You understand? With our glorified bodies, which are from heaven. Right? If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. You understand? Naked. Remember what it says, the, the wedding feast? Remember Yeshua, Moshiach's parable? Concerning the wedding feast, you understand he did not put on Christ. So let us put on Christ. Why Bob wept? Why I and I weep? You understand? Why the Hawaii Apollos weep? You understand? Why do any true brothers and sisters weep for those who they, they feel they're not able and the word is not somehow able to reach and he loves them but might not be able to reach them with this word, with the truth? Verse 4 says, For we that are in this tabernacle do groan. Can't even somebody put things into words. You begin, or oh, Abba, in the name of Christos, say yes. Mm. Uh, they can't even say it. Right? We do groan being burdened. Not for that we would be clothed. Not for that we would be unclothed. Not because having the body, we just want to be unclothed in one sense of looking, or, or that we want to run around naked, you know what I'm saying, but clothes upon, that we, we have this flesh, that's what one can't understand about our Kedus, you know what I'm saying, and many of the other Kedusah, you know what I'm saying, in the true church, within the professing church in Ethiopia, you know what I'm saying, how is this one still alive, how is this one so old, you know what I'm saying, I mean, how are they so old and they more active? Right? Than I and I, but clothed upon. That mortality might be swallowed up of life. So we say, yeah, behold his majesty. He was dead, but behold, he's alive and he lived forevermore. But he said he's a man and he is mortal. You didn't understand it, but many of us have begun to understand exactly what he meant. You understand that he might be what? Right? Is that mortality? Right? I am man, I am mortal. Right? I'll be replaced by the oncoming generation. Right? The, the, that mortality, being subject to mort, mortality, you know, subject to death, in other words. That's what mortality basically means. Might be swallowed up of life. Of, of what life? Let's read on. Now he that hath wrought us for the selfsame thing is a gaziabi is the spirit of truth, is the spirit of God, who also hath given us the earnest of the spirit. He's given us that importation of the, 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 the spirit, the mensa, the, the ruach. Verse 6, it says, Therefore we, I and I, are always confident, always, I'm as confident in the victory of good over evil, knowing that, Whilst we are at home in the body, while we're at home in the body, we are absent from Adonai. He always, in other words, he is in the Samayat. Yes, he is in the Samayat. You understand? He has, what, flesh and bone? You understand? Flesh and bone. Understand that flesh and bone, as it was in the beginning, clothed over with. You understand that resurrection body, that glorified body, right? That light body, if you if you please, right? Clothed upon the body, clothed. You know what it says, clothed upon. Not that we're gonna be walking around like bright kind of lights or whatever. No, clothed upon. 
right? It's, it's a, a rekit, a mishtir, all right? It goes on and says, for we walk by faith, by imnet, by the hymenot, or you can translate that as, on a level, of religion. You understand? We walk, but in this true sense, spirituality. So like our flesh and blood body is like the religion part. Now when we get into the life and the liberty is the spirituality. You know this? And that's being clothed upon. You understand? Clothed upon. We walk by faith, not by sight. Seeing, believing, is believing is alive from the pits of hell, and it needs to be sent back there in the Mushia, Yeshua's sweet and beautiful name. You also need to be bound up and sent back there. You know, seeing, believe, this is the foolish, the foolishest thing. The devil or the demons will mock you. If you. This is the truth. For we walk by faith, not by sight, not by what we see, but by, his, by faith, by imnet, by our main. You understand? Amen. You understand? Go learn what that means. We are confident. I and I are confident. We. We in Ethiopia, as his man says, we are confident. I say, and willing rather, we're willing, if it's necessary, to be absent from the body and to be present with Adonai. Wherefore, we labor. This is the reason why we labor. That whether present or absent, you understand, whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christos. We must all appear before the judgment seat. It's like we must all appear as the priest would appear on behalf of the people. You understand, before the Ark of the Covenant one time which is very much similar to this right here. You understand? The king on the throne, the two angels, symbolically, you understand, in the angelic position. Jehovah's, let's go forward. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christos, of the Moshiach, of the anointed, that everyone may receive the things done in body, in his body, whether done in his body, excuse me, according to that he hath done, whether it be good, right, or bad, knowing therefore the terror of Adonai. Do you know the terror? They talk about terrorism now, right? Yeah, all right. See when the, if Nibiru is sent, you understand the terrorism. You understand, see if the great, when the great earthquake comes, the terrorism. See when the sun rises on the east but in the west, See the terrorism. See when the veil falls and drops and you're naked. See the terrorism. You, the terror, right, the terror of Adonai. We persuade men. You understand? We persuade men. People say, that was a good reason. I say, yeah, but I got a next reason I need to do it. And they say, whoa, don't you ever get any rest? Don't you ever sleep? Yeah, I think I do, but I have to do this. You understand? Because we need to persuade men. Right? But we are made manifest to Egeziavia. We're made manifest to the sustainer, to the art, to the Father of light, to the Father, the firstborn chosen nation. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciences, in your cone with science, knowing. You understand? Know in that knower in you. And we pray that your knower, your conscience is not burnt out by our hot iron, seared. You understand? Know Verse 12 says, for we commend not ourselves again to you. We're not going to say, hey, you know, oh, I've done this, or oh, I've put out this. It doesn't matter how many videos. And still, if I do not reach you with the truth, it doesn't matter how many videos I put out. They'll be happy. But give you occasion. We give you occasion to glory on our behalf to go forward in this ministry of his imperial majesty, to glory on I and I behalf that ye may have somewhat to answer, that you may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance. See, they glory in appearance, not in heart, not in conscience. You understand? Know they glory in, 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 well, how does it look? You understand? Know well, how does it look to you? You understand? Know no, it looks Isla. You understand? Know but is it Kedus, Kedus, Kedus? You understand? Know Behold, Hila Selassie first. 
on the throne, in the tent, in the tabernacle. You understand? Know in the tabernacle. And we can show you countless pictures. You understand? Know and ones that I, all this is true. No make believe, no fakery, no, this is no Hollywood. This is not Hollywood. This is real. You understand? Know um, this is not test. You understand? Know this is actual. You understand? Know this is actual. Right? For, it says, verse 13, for whether we be beside ourselves, somebody says, man, you're beside yourself, Ross, Wendip, right? It is to God. It is to Negus and Neges. It is to Abba. Or whether we be sober, whether you say, oh, now you really are talking. You know, people say, now you really have a good message or you are sober. It is for your cause. It is for your cause. It is for your cause. It's not for my cause. We are persuaded of our salvation to the Father in Yeshua HaMoshiach. You understand? But we will make sure that we do justice to our brothers and for our brothers and sisters and share this message and seek to persuade as many, although some might, you know, you know continue to go after their crook-hearted ways, so be it. You understand? They won't say when they appear before the judgment seat that they wasn't warned, right? For the love of Christos constraineth I and I. That's his majesty's exact words. Don't you get it? You know what I mean? Don't you get it? That's his majesty's exact words. Let's just see if we could bring this up within the time that we have allotted here. Right? You could tell when the more chair and I. You understand? Um, right here. You remember this? You remember this right here? This is from the Good News of His Majesty, right? On page uh, 46, right? 46, right? His Imperial Majesty speaks on true religion, right? Christ and His kingly character, right? The Father and the Son, right? He who has the Son, right? Has the Father. All right, let's recognize that. His Majesty says right here, let's see, where does he say what well, well, we should do all in our power, right? We should, right here, it says, says down here, you see it over here, right? The love, where it says the love shown by our God, right? By our God, the love shown by our God to mankind, to humanity, should constrain all of us who are followers and disciples of Christos. You understand? So any Rastafari that says, I not follow, I not, uh, you should shame yourself. Take away that name. You understand? You're a thief. You understand? You are the thief. You understand? Because you're stealing from his majesty's glory, from his word. His majesty says such that the love shown by our God to mankind, to humanity, should constrain all of us who are followers and disciples of Christ to do all in our power. Right? All in our power to see to it that the message of salvation is carried Right? It's carried to those of our fellows who have not had the benefit of hearing the good news, of hearing the Wengel, of hearing the good news of the King of Kings in according to his Christ. And that's, that's why I, I, I weep. You know what I'm saying? Jesus wept, right? With Lazarus, right? He wept. But he said, not for, so much for himself, but for the people. You know what I'm saying? For how much he, he, he loved that one. You know what I'm saying? And because of I and I love for the King of Kings and his Christ and for our brothers and sisters and even even those who say all sort of scurrilous blasphemies. You know what I'm saying? I forgive you in Yeshua's name. You know what I'm saying? Repent and be born again. For the love of Christos, HaMoshiach, constraineth us, constraineth I and I, because we thus judge. You know what I'm saying? That if one died for all, then all were dead. Don't you get it? And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live to themselves. You understand? Themselves, live selfishly to themselves. Me, mine, blah, 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 right? But to him which died for them and rose again. Now, it's very clear that His Majesty, right, it's very clear that His Majesty is, 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 is referring and is referencing, you know what I'm saying, is referencing 
this area, this area of scripture, right? When he speaks on religion, you understand? Don't be a liar and don't be a fool. You understand? The fool says in his heart, "There is no God because he doesn't treasure this word. Treasure this word. This is the area. This is the area of scripture, and we can actually label this part of the Avakadus Mishtia." You understand? But the, the whole of it is of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit of the Seleus Kedus, if you will receive it. Right? He says, what, wherefore, right, wherefore, henceforth, know we, no man after the flesh. But we don't judge a person just because, okay, you white, you Chinese, you Jewish, white Jew, black Jew, you, you, you from America, you from Jamaica, you you. You look like this, you look like that. Nah! What's wrong? Don't you get it? Wherefore, henceforth, from here forward, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christos after the flesh, yet now, henceforth, know we him no more. You know, as he knew the Moshiach, in a sense, when he says after the flesh, you have to remember who Paul was. He was a Torah Jew. He was a Pharisee. Studied under Gamaliel, at the feet of Gamaliel. You know what I'm saying? So they had, like the Jews, also speak about bring Moshiach now. Right? Bring Moshiach now. You know what I'm saying? They have to recognize what, what is coming. You know what I'm saying? From what is not coming. Verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christos, if any man be in Moshiach, he is a new creature. He's a new creature. He's a new creation. Right? He's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. He who sits on the throne, Revelation says that he who sits on the throne declares all things are new. And we get to see the new heavens and the new earth. You know, so, I mean, it's sad what they're doing to the earth and the creation, but the creation is waiting for you to become the Bane Ha Elohim. That's what the creature is waiting for. You understand the earnest expectation of the creatures for the manifestation of the of the Bani Ha Elohim. And all things are of Egziavihir, who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christos. We are reconciled to Abba by way of Jesus Christos. That's why Matthew sent someone back and he said, Next time send the right people. Next time, the righteous Africans, the righteous people, the people who have Jesus Christos as their Lord and Savior, and have given us the ministry of reconciliation. That's sometimes I think about it. I say, well, when I think about it, the old ministry of the Torah was what? It was the ministry of, 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 of death. Torah, is, apart from Christ, is the ministry of death. And that's why some of the Israelites be going the way they be going. I, I really understand. I feel it sometimes. I'm like, oh, man, if I'm in the gospel, I have to just calm down. You understand? And recognize it's the ministry of reconciliation. You understand? To wit, that God, was recon that God was in Christ. That God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself and not imputing. And it was not imputing. That's why the demons, remember what the demons said? <laughs> Excuse me. You know what the demons said? The demons said that, um, oh, son of God, oh, Christ, son of God, are you come to destroy us before the time? Because they know, you understand, that and, oh, based on what they have known, that they would expect that when he was coming, it was done. You understand? But he basically didn't give them peace them, no nothing. He didn't tell them. He said, shut up and come out of this one. You know what I'm saying? Because they were heavily burdening I and I people, like many of our brothers and sisters now are heavily burdened. But part of it is because they have so much faith in the world, right? And so little faith. Their faith is weak in Yeshua HaMoshiach. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe they, they lack the discipline, that, that religion or the living faith, the Misarita Haimano. You understand, and the, and the discipline. You understand, or, or it might be that that to walk it out. They're not walking out. They know these things. They have a good discipline. They're not out in the world partying and clubbing and all that kind of stuff, and 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 and, and you know, co you know, committing all sort of abomination, getting their garment spotted up with the flesh. You understand. 
But let's go on. It says, to wit, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them. He was not imputing. Imputing is the mekoter, mekotater. You understand? The computer, the judgment computer was not on them. You understand? In other words, he was not imputing to them. He was not accounting to them, making them accountable for what they have, their trespasses to them, and have committed to us. You understand? Because what he has done, he has committed to us, especially to us as Aras Tafari, the word of reconciliation. You understand? The word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors. And saying, yes, I, I know as ambassadors. When we said, why did you the embassy? We said, are oh, you an embassy? You are. And I was like, you're an ambassador. No, no, we're ambassadors because Christ says we're ambassadors. The word says we're ambassadors. And his Majesty's Bible, the Mets of Caduce, also translates that we are ambassadors, right? For Christos, for the Moshiach. You understand? Earth's rightful ruler, that means that this kingdom, we have, we are co heirs, you understand, with Christ and heirs of Abba. Ears of Abu Kedus, ears of Kedamawi, Haile Selassie. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christos. As though God did beseech you by us. Some didn't get it. So his majesty beseeched them by himself. You know, they might say, oh, well, maybe you're saying that. Maybe God didn't really beg. Be beseech me, beg. You understand? As God beseech. I mean, can, can, can you fathom the great? Mahira, you know what I'm saying? That, that, the, that the Almighty would make himself known. You know what I'm saying? To beseech us, not for himself, but for his son, for Jesus Christos, as Kedamawi Haile Selassie did. And still some don't want to get it. That means that the judgment is, as they say, the judgment is out of this world. You know what I'm saying? The judgment is just out of this world. Maybe it's Nibiru. Nibiru is out of this world. You know what I'm saying? But um, it seems to be coming into this world. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I hope that you're ready, but I hope that I and I all is ready. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christos stead, like in, in place of Christ. While Christ is there in the heavens, we are his representatives on earth because all Sultan, Sultan was given. You know what I'm saying? All Sultan was given to us. You know what I'm saying? Because of Christ, in Christ, we have this sultan, overstand, that all was given to him, and now we have that in him, because as he is, so are we, overstand, as he is, so are we in this world, right, are we in this world, as he is, right, be ye reconciled to God, you know what I'm saying, be ye reconciled to the spirit of God, you know what I'm saying, to the truth of the Spirit of God. To, to, to God is the Spirit, and those that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. In other words, let this idea, since we cannot physically tabernacle Sukkot at this present time, because we still are in this uh, situation or in this dispensation, let this, let this meditation abide and such meditations abide, right, during this time. This seven days from from this even right this even um the the thirtieth of September to the seventh of October they said October is a judgment month how very fitting right it says um for he hath made him right he hath made him to to be sin chatiat for us who knew no sin. You know, then to take this burden off of us. Otherwise, one will be eternally under the dominion of Satan, the devil, and the evil, the Kufu Manafis, right? That we might be made the righteousness of God, right? Of God in Him. In other words, we are righteousness, the righteousness. In other words, th that standard that God accepts. You know, because as His Majesty says, um, concerning um, in, in, in the good news, and I'll, I'll just conclude here with the Sukkot, a word in the Sukkot. We already reminded you to check out some of the other um, pages as well up there, the Sukkot on the Internet, the Wikipedia page, um, and this particular page, the one on, look up Selassie and Tent, 
and it should be one of the first um, links that, um, you know, like he says, do you have any words um, for, he says, as a mature Christian, right, as a mature Christian, so let's bring this up, as a mature Christian, right, speaking to His Majesty, uh, Dr. Hoffman, Oswald Hoffman asks, have you a special word for young people of these days? You know what I'm saying? Have you any special word for young people, for the youth, right? The Kordawoch and the Gobezazit, you know, Gobezazit Torch, do you have any word for them? On this occasion, Kadamawi Haila Salase says, how the Selassie first says, on this occasion I address all those within our empire. Our Christianity, our Christina, is not restricted to a given church. So it's not restricted to the EOC, the EOTC, the ETC, you understand? Uh, or then they have to have Ethiopia in it to be of his church, and he's going he's gonna, to um, expound on it. And I stress above all, right, Above all, that we do not wish to make distinctions, right, make distinctions. My advice to all is to fulfill the Ten Commandments or the Ten Words, the Aserta, the Aserta Kalat, right, or the Ten Words, to fulfill it. And, you know, we can't fulfill it of our own. You know, with the youth, I to study it. We can only fulfill it in and through Yeshua HaMoshiach, who is that new and that living way. We can only fulfill it in and through him. All right, so this is kind of the interesting. He didn't want to make distinctions, right, because that would cause him to judge, and then ones would not be able to make their own free will judgment. So he's here declaring the, the, the gospel truth, right? You are aware of the contents of the Ten Commandments or the Aseltic Allah, the Decalogue, the Ten Words, and can elaborate on it. If the nation, I want you to get this right here, what His Majesty said. He says, if, right, the nation for which I am emperor, Negusa Neges, speaking of Ethiopia, shall stretch forth her hands to God, right? If the nation for which I am the emperor follows and accepts this, right? Because people can follow something but not accept it, over it, but follows and accepts this, since it is also what I accept and follow. See, the righteousness of God, all right? Overstand race here. The righteousness of God. How that flip mode over here? All right, you know, these, these programs tend to, you know, tend to be doing their own thing. You understand? These mockers and scoffers right here. You know, any way to get through. I mean, we understand. We understand it's a, it's a, it's a heavy message, you understand, for them. You understand? But it's something that you should already be quite um, familiar with. Let's bring this up right here. While that, while that does its, while that does its thing right there, right? While that does its thing, let's continue with this. All right, because hear the word. Don't worry about the pictures right now. Hear the word, right? He says, um, if the nation for which I am the emperor, right, um, follows and accepts this, since it is also what I accept and follow, right? Since it's also what the King of Kings himself says that he accepts and follows, which is a true way of the Moshiach, Yeshua, right? Accepts and follows. I miss God enough for that save right there. Okay. Accepts and follows. He says, Since it is what it is also what I accept and follow. So you are calling yourself Rastafari and say that he is God and King of Kings, and yet you do not follow and accept what he follow and accept. What kind of reject are you? You understand? And actually, what kind of fool are you? You understand? Get away. Repent. All right? It says, I would believe of my men. Right? I'm not low. Right? Our country is not only historically Christina, but also actively, actively Christina. Actively Christina. And then he says right here, um, he's speaking about, um, and this is kind of interesting because if we really would understand um, tabernacles also, there's also a greater significance, um, not greater significance, but there's a, 
there's an equal and like significance to, um, let's see if we can bring this up right here, um, to uh, tabernacles, because some say that this is the time when also when, when Yeshua HaMoshiach, this is the season that Christ was born in, right? When you do a proper um, ten unquote atif, right? That he was born in. And we see this also as well. You can see it a little better on the site, right? Um, and I want you to just keep that in mind right there because Matthew's asked that your imperial Matthew, the birthday of our Lord of Gitachi, which is really September 11th. Right? That's why that day is so important. So you can understand what a high level occultic, um, occultic blasphemy, right, um, was, 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 a, was attempted, right, by those whom it was attempted to utilize that particular day because of a knowledge of this right here, a knowledge of these divine cycles, to use that particular day in the evil and pernicious way that it was used. So let's also understand that as well. So as Matt sees Acts, furthermore, right here, um, the birthday of our Lord is observed by people throughout the world in different ways, right? In different ways, in different cultures, right? In different churches, right? In different ways. And um, Hoffman says, I know. And I would like to ask you, how you observe the feast of, nativ of the nativity of our Lord within your own family and household. And Kanamawi Haile Selassie, here's what he said concerning that. All right, here's what his imperial majesty said. He said that the birth of our Lord of Getachin in the Hebrew Adonenu is a joyous family event because that, that event is really Sukkot, right? It's Sukkot. It's a sukkah, yedas ba'al. You know what I'm saying? Tabernacles. You remember where it says that? And he tabernacled and he dwelt amongst us. Right? And we beheld. You know this, don't you? This is John. This is basic. This is basic discipleship right here. In First John, right? When it speaks about how the word became flesh, right? The word became flesh and did what? It says in verse 14 of John chapter 1. Um, John's Gospel, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. If you read that in the Greek, if you read that, you understand, and the good is, the Word became flesh and tabernacled, right? It tabernacled, it took up a, a tent, a residence in this sinful flesh, you understand, in this faulty um, melanin, you understand, this faulty carbon organic structure, you know, was, and dwelt, indwelling is tabernacles, right, and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld, right, and we beheld his glory, you understand, we beheld his uh, Shekinah, right, his, his Shekinah, his Shekinah glory, right, the glory as of the only begotten of the Abba, of the Abba, right, of, of Daddy, of Father, full of grace, right, and truth. So the real walk for us, the true walk in Rastafari, you understand, is one of grace and truth. You understand, Rastafari is the fulfillment of the way of Yeshua HaMoshiach. And we, we need to receive that, and we need to follow and accept this. All right? His message is a joyous family event. However, I do not only rejoice with my kindred and family, right, since the whole Ethiopian nation is my family. I say this in the context of Lidet, or the Turgu, um Christmas, being observed by all churches in Ethiopia. I rejoice on this occasion also because of Jesus Christos being given for us, right? Because Father, God could not, you know, God is holy. That's why even in the tabernacle, the priest could only go in the Holy of Holy, Holies once a year. And he had to go in there with blood. You understand? He had to go in there with blood. You understand? He could not go in there, you know, apart from that. He couldn't just trample on it. You know what happened to the boys, um, the dab and the bihu, when they thought to be priests, you understand, playing priests. You know, like once a year, I'm a priest, and I questioned them on the order of Melchizedek. 
and they didn't even know what the, what it really means and others. I'm like, well, don't play around. Remember Adab and the Bihu, right? The Adab and the Bihu, they went into the tabernacle and they were burnt up. They tried to burn strange fire. You understand? So, so that they can burn the Kanabosa. In fact, uh, <laughs> on that, we're not going to go there to the Cannabis Matrix YouTube channel. We just put it out here. The wise will catch on to it. But in due time, y'all willing, there'll be more there. But he's given for us, you know what I'm saying, so, so, the, so that God and humanity would be reconciled. You know what I'm saying? And this is a picture, right? This is the picture of what we have with his imperial majesty in the, in the tent or in the tabernacle. You see that right there? What we have with his imperial majesty. I mean, that's real. That is the real Sukkot. Right? That's a real example of what we showed you and demonstrate previously when we speak about Exodus, when we speak about repatriation. If you don't first seek God, turn to the Almighty God, all your best efforts, like His Master said in the Mecca, you understand? That they may take note of the word, our brethren, our kiss, our kin who rise up in the future, take note of the word that you have spoken. Without me, without Yeshua HaMoshiach, they can do nothing. You understand? And we can do nothing without Yeshua HaMoshiach. And that is why Bob cried. That's why Burhana Salase, right? That's why Bob Marley cried, in other words, because he knew that he was already victim, he was already target, he was already hit, it was already done for him. And that opportunity to share this, can you imagine, you understand, what sort of ministry would have been from such a time to such, you know, some say that he wasn't a Rastafari. He was a true Rastafari, Burhan Salase, because, not because he was baptized in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, but because he had accepted, he had recognized that mishtir, you understand, that mystery of God in Christ. As his majesty says, I rejoice on this occasion also because of Jesus Christos, Yeshua HaMoshiach, being given for us. For he was born in a lowly place. You understand, as many of us have been born in lowly places, not from high families or high names, but we have been given a name. You understand? Make sure that we honor that name, that we honor our father and mother. And so Yeshua, he was born in a lowly place, and he got warm by animals, by the animals in the, in the what do you call the manger, him and his mother. You understand? This in Gamaria. This fact encourages us to celebrate it with joy, and we hope and pray that these seven days, you know what I'm saying? That you just remember, even though you're not able to build a sukkah, a das, a booth, as you can see on the sukkah, the sukkot page, you know, some of the um, Jews and, and others are able to do that. And we're not able to do that right now. You know what I'm saying? But first receive of his word, of his spirit, Yovas, and grow and be strengthened in your faith. When I have visited the five large continents, that number five again, right? I have not been anywhere where there was not a church, right? All over the world I have come to know that the birth of Jesus Christos is celebrated. Isn't it almost like fathers from somewhere else? You know, just doing a survey. You know what I'm saying? My brothers and sisters, um, I and I will once again say Shalom Rastafari. Because the evening, you know, the evening is, is this, this will be the time right now when one would, you know, um, fulfill certain things. And it's a time of joy, of joy in the millennium. Remember the vid I, I pointed out as well. You can get that on the Rastafari um, Sabbatical. Keep it sick, not tick. Sabbatical, right, on um, YouTube channel. And the particular vid, once again, you understand, know I'm, I'm doing all to to remind the brothers and sisters of this channel, too, for the Rastafari um, Sabbatical Studies and this particular vid, right? It's, it's one hour perfectly. It's, it's, it's called um, Rastafari Spirituality, Worship, and Honoring the King, John Millennial Kingdom, and it's based on Zechariah chapter 14, verses 16 to 21, for those taking notes. And remember Leviticus 23, 
chapter 23, and we'll just give you this section to study up on, um, chapter 23, um, verse 23, so 23, 23. So notice that, 5-5, five, five. Mr. 5 by 5, 23, 23. The feast of Yahweh, you understand, know speaking about trumpets, the prophetic of the future regathering. That trumpet sound is I and I, regathering sound. The feast of Yahweh, the day of atonement. And then this one is the Feast of Tabernacles, which you find in verse 39. In verse 39. And the Feast of Tabernacles, like the Lord's Supper, you understand, is for the church, the Beta Rastafari. It is both memorial. It is both a memorial as well as it is, it is prophetic. It's a memorial as well as prophetic. Memorial as to redemption out of Egypt for us. Um, Jeremiah chapter 23, it says, No longer will he say, The Lord who brought us out of Egypt, Jah live, Jah live, Yahai, Yahai, the Lord liveth. But they would say, Yahai, Yahai, Jah live, who brought us out of the north country and all of our, all the other countries, whither he has driven us. So this is the Beta Israel repatriation looking forward. So it's a memorial as to redemption out of Egypt. Verse 43 it is prophetic as to the kingdom rest or the men gifts. Senbet, the Malkut Shabbat, the kingdom rest of Israel, of Israel after her regathering, right? There'll be a kingdom rest, a sabbatical rest after our regathering and restoration, and the restoration once again in our own land, right? When the feast again becomes memorial, the feast again becomes a metasebiah. So there's the metasebia aspect, prophetic. Then the metasebia aspect is what it's explaining here. Not for Israel alone. It's not going to be just for I and I as Beta Israel or Beta Rastafari. But it's going to be for all nations, all nations that survive, that don't fight against Father. You know what I'm saying? That don't fight against Yeshua. That don't fight against the Kedu Son. Because there will be some nations that, or at least poor, there'll be remnants. There is, yeah, please, let there be a remnant. Because there's a lot of good people, you understand, who will not fight against the truth. If they will only have an opportunity to hear the truth. If my brothers and sisters will, 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 will support the root, you understand? Support the root, you understand, with your prayers, with your donations towards this particular ministry as you are able, or just with the co laboring. You understand, putting up sites. Everyone should have a site. Everyone should have these things and use this to mirror the teachings of his imperial majesty. When the feast again becomes memorial, Metasebia is not for Israel alone, but it's for all nations. And once again, that's Zechariah chapter uh, 14, Timbete Zacharias chapter 14, verses 16 to 21. So we have... Um, Touched on just a basic, a basic overview of this. I mean, there's more. We could show more pictures and things, but it's the word. You understand? It's mainly getting across the ones and ones this word and how this is something to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? We walk by faith and not by sight. So if we look around, things look very bad, don't they? Oh, they don't look too good. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's going through something, ain't they? You understand? Know but we have to behold Yeshua. You understand? Know behold him in spirit and behold him in truth. Now, there's some beautiful psalms, too, that we'll touch on. But study, my brothers and sisters, you know and, and mothers. And we say in the fraternal greeting, Salam Taye, Salam Tachin, Shalom Ras Teferi, to I and I, brothers, sisters, and mothers. And to all the others who might be listening or watching, curious folks, repent and be born again before it's too late. Jah loves you. You understand? And for his sake, so do I and I and I. So, brothers and sisters, um, there's, you know, there's so much more to as well share, but we're just going to wrap this up. Also, one more word about the site. Ethiopian World Net 9-11, you understand? YouTube's account, Ethiopian World Net 9-11. If there's an emergency, gather over there. Also tune in and subscribe 
to uh, Rastafari or Rastafari, right? Sabastico. Not Tico, but Sabastico. So we're keeping it thick now. You know said We're getting into the thick portion of the revelation, prophecy, and manifestation. Um, so, uh, Shalom Ras Teferi.